Which sign analysis statement is true for the following inequality? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the roots um, for our equation here. So let's find a number that adds up to positive eight and multiplies to uh, 16 times negative three, which is negative 48. So in this case, it's going to be uh, positive 12x and negative 4x, okay, just like that. And then we can go ahead and factor things out here. So uh, let's go ahead and say 4x, and then we'll have 4x minus 1. And then we can also do uh, 3 here and we'll have 4x minus 1, okay? So this leaves us with 4x plus 3 and 4x minus 1. All right, so this will give us roots of x is equal to negative 3 over 4 and of 1 over 4, okay? So now we know our roots. We can go ahead and write these down on um, our number line here. And so we have one over four and negative three over four. Now uh, we have to do three test regions, right? We're gonna have to do to the left over here, in the middle and to the right. And so we're gonna use our sign analysis. So let's first start with the left of negative three over four. Um, and we'll use a test point of negative one. So um, we can say test negative one. Okay, and so we basically plug that in to uh, our two factors here. So a test point of negative one at four x plus three, four x minus one. Well, that'll be um, negative four plus three and negative four minus one. And so that's gonna be a negative times a negative. And this is supposed to be gr less than zero, right? Because our uh, statement here is less than zero, not less than equal to. So uh, we basically analyze this. We say, okay, a negative times a negative, that's gonna give us a positive. And less than zero basically means negative. So zero should not be greater than positive. So we know that uh, it's not gonna be to the left. Now we can test a point in between. Let's use uh, zero. Okay, same thing. Uh, so we're basically just gonna be plugging the same factors in here. So we'll have zero plus three and zero plus, or sorry, minus one. So that's gonna be a positive and a negative are less than zero and positive times a negative, it gives us a negative. So indeed, that one is true. So we know that in the middle is good to go. And finally, we just have to analyze to the right. Uh, so we can just try, for example, positive two. Um, so I'm just gonna move over here because we're running out of a little room. So test uh, point two. And again, plugging that into our factors there, we'll have four times two plus three and four times two minus one. And so this is gonna be a positive and a positive. And when we compare that to zero, again, it's the same situation. Um, zero is not greater than a positive because a positive times a positive is a positive. So that is not correct, so we know it can't be to the right either. So now that we've analyzed this, we know that it's gonna be in the middle, and we have to use this, uh, or represent this in interval notation. So we recognize that we're using just a standard less than sign here, which means we're going to use um, the rounded brackets, not square brackets, because square brackets is inclusive, which we only use when we have greater than or, or less than and equal. And we just write down our points. So we have negative three, over four and one over four. All right, so that's how we use sign analysis to determine um, 
which statement is true for our, for our inequality here. Okay, so that's all for this one. I hope that helps. Thank you.